Hey guys, it's Ted Bogard. Welcome back to the Ted Show. I've got these two young gentlemen. They are entrepreneurs. They're in the real estate world. But today we're going to talk about the Better Way Conference. I have Instagram at J Monopoly and Instagram at Javier Inspired Me, otherwise known as Jesse Marrera and Javier Font. What's up, guys? How are you guys doing today? I'm doing amazing, Ted. Thank you for having us. Super excited. Super excited to have you guys on. Javier's been on before, Jay. Love your energy. You guys are great. And I'm excited to learn about the Better Way Conference because honestly, when I read some of the stuff that you all put out and then the bio, I'm even excited. And I don't really get excited about that kind of stuff because normally it's all the same over and over and over again. And this looks like it's going to be really different. But before we take a deep dive into that, the audience really loves to get to know you. Uh, and since we don't know Jay yet, we're going to start with Jay. Jay, tell us a little bit about you, who you are, kind of your background, and how you got uh, managed to connect with this crazy gentleman below, Javier. <laughs> Man, so it's um, I'm actually from I'm originally from New York City. I'm from Queens, so shout out shout out to Queens. And um, I joined the military when I was 18 years old. Right, I was trying to you know I, I knew I needed to separate from my old life to get to my new one. So I joined the military for a little bit. And um, that's actually, it, it's funny. Everybody always asks me how I got started in business and doing what I do. And it's actually, I felt like it kind of found me, right? So I was in, uh, I was in the Marine Corps. I was in the Marine Corps. I was, I was stationed on a ship. And um, I, what I didn't know at the time before I went on the ship is that you don't have any contact with the outside world, right? So we would sit around and make things up in our head. Like, oh, I bet Drake dropped the album. I bet Jay-Z dropped the album. And I'm, I'm a huge Jay-Z fan. So everyone used to pick on me like, yeah, I bet Jay-Z dropped the album for the first time in four years. And then um, we finally get to Australia, right? That's the first stop on our ship. And Jay-Z dropped the album for the first time in four years. <laughs> <laughs> he dropped the album, 444. That was the name of the album. And I don't know if you guys follow like the whole angel numbers and things, but like 444 numbers are supposed to represent like um, that you're being guided, yes. right? So as I'm as I'm listening to the album 444, I'm walking around listening to this. I had my headphones in. This was before AirPods existed, right? So I had these wires hanging down my my shirt while I'm listening to it, walking down the street. And I look up, and um, I see Jay Z's 444 Club is in Australia. No, Crazy! Man. Can't 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 make this up. So I go in there, mind blown. I'm like, guys, do you guys know Jay Z dropped an album? And they're like, yeah, he was here last night when he dropped it. And I was like, what? Like, I'm <laughs> trying to process all of this in my head, right? So I end up Googling uh, books that Jay-Z has read. And I discovered this book called uh, The Celestine Prophecy. Yes. Um, that basically, have you read it? Yes, I have. Amazing Amazing book. Amazing book. Uh, so, it, you know, it talks about how nothing in your life is a coincidence, all of that. So by this point, I get back on the ship. I finished the book while I was on the ship. I still had another week until I got to the next country we went to. And then... um. So after the after the Celestine prophecy, I read a real estate book. At this point in my life, I didn't know anything about real estate. But the one thing I got from the book was that it's created the most millionaires so far, right? So I was like, wow, that that's amazing. So we get to Australia again. We went to a different side of Australia. We're doing a training exercise. We get to Australia again. And <clears throat> when I get there, I didn't tell anybody I got there. I didn't post anything. My my friend, who's my business partner now, just happened to call me at the time. And the first words to come out of his mouth were, we got to get started in real estate. Wow. So I was like, literally, wow. So That's I, a I, I, went, moment. I, went I went all in. That's how I got started, how I got started. You know, I was able to build a seven-figure wholesaling business. And that's how I met Javier. We had a similar circle. Beautiful. Thank you for your service, by the way. Big, big kudos for that. Thank, thank you. Thank you. All right, Javier. For those of people who don't know you in my sphere, I don't know who you'd be, but uh tell us a little bit about you um for me well i'm born and raised in waterbury connecticut um you know and it's unfortunate but early on in my life i had my parents had to fall out so i come from a broken home um fortunate for me i still had a i've always had a relationship with my dad but you know i'm gonna cut the, the story a little short i moved to florida unemployed and i'm currently the owner the ceo and owner of Fond statewide realty I'm also the owner of Statewide Home Solutions and After Hour Success. So for me, is um, I come from from low income, a low income neighborhood. So it's not like I come from riches. It's just I come from you know um, 
good times, you know, should I say, you know. Uh, <laughs> How are you old yeah. enough to know that show? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, at, at the end of the day, um, you know, I'm extremely humble and I, I love doing these lives just to encourage individuals and, and motivate and inspire people to really find a better way. And that's why, you know, this event, there's nice segue. That. God, you don't even need me on this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love that. I love that you guys shared your story. And, you know, kudos to both of you, too, because sometimes when I ask that question, I get I was born and now I'm in real estate. So thank you for being risk takers and actually <laughs> sharing a little bit about yourself, because that's so important. You can't you can't talk about something, a conference like this, this life that will be life changing, I believe, for people if people don't understand where you came from and what your life's all about and why you're here. So mm -hmm. thank you guys for being honest and authentic with that. All right. So let's talk about the Better Way Conference. Uh, I don't know who wants to start off. Where did the concept come from? And tell people a little bit about the why. Why are you doing this? It's one thing to have seven figure income, three companies. You guys are doing great in real estate, but why come out and share that with the rest of the world? Uh, I'm going to let Jay start because he's the pioneer. Um, the brand itself, he actually has a course, um, Jay's Better Way, wholesaling course. And um, yeah, so if you want to share, Jay. All right, Jay, let's hit it. Uh, one, one, of, one of my favorite quotes that I heard um, when I was when I was starting up was that success leaves clues, you know, um, and in the kind of world we're living in right now, you know, uh, the world is almost like an open book test, you know, like before if you wanted to learn something, you had to personally know somebody. And now you can follow somebody. You can reach out to them through Instagram without knowing them. You can reach out through, you know, you can learn from them on, on their show on um, whatever the case is. There's so many different ways to learn. Right. And one thing you realize is that you don't have to recreate the wheel, right? More times than not, someone already has the, the, the desired success we want. And there's always a better way than what we're currently doing it. You just have to figure it out. It's, it's literally just that simple. There's always a better way to, to get to the outcome. And, um, you know, the point of the conference was um, I, did a, I did an event in January 2020. Um, I put it took I, I did the I put the, I put the event together in three weeks I think it was like I didn't think a lot of people would show up um, and then we had 150 people show up in the middle of a snowstorm in New York City. Nice. So after that I was like wow that was really that was really cool I, I'd like to do another another one of them and then COVID happened you know yeah. and um, one of the reasons I wanted to get people together you know and do this event so big just off the jump was because. You know, they say that uh, mental health issues have, have gone up ridiculously uh, during during the crisis, right? And I think one of the biggest uh, causes of that were people weren't able to travel, people weren't in gatherings, and, you know, people were stuck in their home. And unfortunately, the majority of people, I believe, are stuck in a negative environment where they can't share ideas, where they can't share their goals, their aspirations. And that all contributes to mental health, you know? And to be able to create a growth environment for people where people will come not only learn from people on stage, but rub shoulders with people who also want to do better in life. That, that That's really the goal behind it. I love that you want to help other people. I feel like that that's a mantra that a lot of people miss out on. That's a way of life. Uh, they don't let, they don't understand the power of planting seeds and giving back and doing other, doing things for other people in your community, which I also know Javier does as well. Talk about why you're involved with this Javier. What, what what led you or what leads you to really really want to get this message out? Um, you know, for me, when I when I again when I, I come from humble beginnings, so I knew that there's a better way to become successful. For me, it was real estate. You know, there's there's so many avenues that someone can take in order to become successful. So when I when I connected with Jay and I read and, and you know uh, I see his story, I, I love being around people that are like minded, um, especially. Um, individuals that are, that are young and have the same like mine. Jay's only 25, 25 years old, you know? So it's just, it's just mind boggling. And when you can meet any individual at, you know, 18, 25 years old, that range with the hustle and the ambition and the passion. So I instantly gravitate to individuals like that. And, um, you know, I do whatever it takes to be resourceful and, and help them out the best way that I can. So I, I'm a true believer in the, in his brand, the better way. 
Um, and this conference is just going to show people that there is a better way, either it be through real estate, either it be through getting a license, be an electrician, a plumber, whatever, be, becoming a, a, an owner, a business owner overall, and just taking full control of how much you make a month or how much time you have free to spend with your family. All right. So I love that too. It, it's interesting because I think, first of all, 25, Jay, wow. Um, all, two of my kids are older than you. I'm feeling, <laughs> I'm feeling quite ancient right now. Um, but you're, but you, you, you have, you both have that spirit. You both have that entrepreneurial spirit, but also that giving back spirit. And I think that uh, goes a very long way. So we have questions, obviously, before we went live, give us the details, tell us how people can register, where it's at, what could, what they can expect uh when they attend the conference yeah i mean uh so the conference is july 17th in orlando florida at uh the caribbean royale um you can get your tickets at the betterwayconference.com and uh no, i'm sorry it's just betterwayconference.com forget the the just uh, better way conference. across the bottom guys yeah yeah betterwayconference.com um really what you guys should expect honestly is um how, how do I put this? I, I always say the concept growth environment, right? And I don't feel like a lot of people understand what that is. Uh, but ha Ted, have you ever heard of the PayPal mafia? Yes. I, I thought that was such an inter interesting concept when I first heard about it, right? You'll, have to, you'll have to tell them a teeny snippet of what that actually is. Yeah. So, so the PayPal mafia, right? Everybody, um, most of the, the, the heads of PayPal ended up to going and finding a uh, billion dollar businesses, all of them. And not like just billion dollar businesses. I mean like global businesses like YouTube, Plantair, Yelp, like huge businesses, right? So you had all these people that went on to be massively successful. And I personally believe one of the reasons is that they had a growth environment. They had a, an environment where they were all sharing ideas and because they had strong leadership, right? Uh, strong leaders create other leaders, not followers. So um, I think people should expect to be in a growth environment when they're here. Right. And, and that could mean a lot of things for a lot of different people. That, that might mean that they find somebody they do business with or that might mean that they find an idea that they want to pursue. But one act of inspiration can change somebody's bloodline forever. You know what I'm saying? Like, that, that's so crazy to think about. It does. It, change, it, it can change. And I think people are hungry for that after the pandemic. I think people are ready to get back to in-person events. I think people want to interact and they want to find a new way because 2020 challenged so much of our foundation of what we thought was important or our lives as we were going. Javier, are there going to be people speaking? Are there going to be workshops, networking? Tell them a little bit about the, the nitty gritty yeah. details. Yeah, so there, there's going to be speakers coming out um, talking about real estate, talking about e-commerce, talking about crypto, motivation, how to create a podcast. Um, you know, the big, the biggest thing with these type of conferences is that you're rubbing shoulders and networking with like-minded individuals. You see a lot of people um, when they're, when they're around, when they're home or they're around their families or friends, sometimes you're not around those individuals that um, motivate you. You know, sometimes you're not around those individuals that want something better in their life. So if you want to hang around like-minded individuals, if you want to create your network, if you want to go ahead and, and be in, a, in, a, in one place where there's so many individuals, over 500 people, right, Jack? Yeah. Over 500 people that you can rub shoulders with, speakers on stage that are hitting eight, nine, ten figures, just dropping gems. And, we're, you know, it's just it's just an environment that you don't want to miss out. You don't want to say, oh, I, I could have made it, but I didn't. You see, imperfect action is better than no action and excuses would always keep you broke. So you have to make sure to commit to whatever it is that you want. And Jay, how much are the tickets? Oh, yeah. Let's tell them. Tell them the details. I mean, I'm a little afraid to say it. I, I don't want to, you know, <laughs> the, the price is a whole, you know, if you, if you use if you use promo code. Uh, J J A Y, the price has come out to a whopping fifty dollars. Wow, <laughs> fifty dollars! You see, every event that I've ever been to, uh, masterminds, uh, the tickets. I mean, I'm the 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 cheapest one that I've ever paid in expensive was to see Tony Robbins speak on stage was five hundred dollars. You know, I paid up to five thousand dollars for a three day weekend. I paid up to twenty five thousand dollars for a mastermind for 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 to get mentored for six months. I paid hundreds of thousands of dollars to just be in a mastermind that travels to different countries. So it's just for fifty dollars, 
to at least go there and pick up some golden nuggets, rub shoulders, exchange phone numbers. You know, you never know who might be your business partner in that billion dollar business you might create just by rubbing shoulders with the right individuals. And this is coming to Orlando, Florida. Worst case, you come over for the weekend, go to Disney. We're minutes away from Disney. <laughs> right, because it's a, it's July 17th, which is a Saturday. Um, and it's at Caribe Royale, betterwayconference.com, which is scrolling across the bottom. Uh, Jay, what do you want them to leave with when they're all said and done and they realize that was the best $50 they have ever <laughs> spent? Um, what's one thing you'd really, really want them to leave with? I want people to leave with a sense of action, you know? Um, and this is what I mean by that. For me, growing up the way I did, right? Uh, I grew up in Queens, New York. Um, and I grew up in a great home, you know? But it's not like, you know, we just had tons of money or anything like that. So whenever I saw massively successful people, I always thought that was so far away. You know what I'm saying? I thought that was so far away. And it wasn't until I started going out, networking, and actually meeting, shaking hands with very extremely successful people that I realized these people are just like me. This guy puts on, you know, his pants one leg at a time, just like I do. You know, and and once I started realizing, wow, these massively successful people are just regular people who had some information that I didn't have and some work ethic that I might not have. I realized I can do this as well. And that's what I want people to, to leave with a sense of action, knowing like, yo, this is possible. Like these these massively successful people are just regular guys. They just knew a little bit more and took action on it. What about you, Javier? Exactly. You don't have to be a, a athlete, an artist, a rapper. You don't have to be someone that's, you see, growing up, I used to see the same thing. I see individuals on TV. I used to think that I needed to be extremely famous or I needed to be this big millionaire in order for me to get a Lamborghini. You know, something that I manifest that you break down into small numbers and and things could happen. I'm not a celebrity. I'm not an artist. I'm not a, I'm not an actor. You know, I'm not a rapper or an athlete. I'm just someone that just came from humble beginnings that put action and I took massive action and I started hanging around the people that I wanted to become. And this this event, that's exactly what we're giving you. You're, you you want to be successful. You keep telling yourself, you keep looking in the mirror saying you want to be successful. This is your opportunity to prove it, to just come show up. And just listen, you know. So um, again, people will always remember what you say and what you do, but how you make them feel is lasting. It's it's it's, it's gonna last in your soul forever. So just can't come out. At least at least listen to the information that can possibly change your life. Love it. You know, y'all, my audience. I'm talking to you guys are always asking me how do I expand my circle, and I'm always saying, you know. Just because they're in your circle doesn't mean they're in your corner. So if you have toxicity and you are not getting the feedback and the encouragement and the ideas, uh, this is a great way for you to expand that circle like Jay and Javier were both talking about. Hobnob, network, meet, listen to, uh, grasp, do whatever you have to do. Uh, this is a great way for you to learn more and kind of expand your horizon, which a lot of people realized in 2020, they might not be in the circle that they thought that they wanted to be in because right. there was a lot of negativity and a lot of down and a lot of uh, stuff that would try to hold people down. And so this kind of conference where they're bringing it to you for, by the way, with the code J, 50 bucks. Um, <laughs> I don't even know what to say about that. I don't know that before we went live. Uh, that's amazing. So I want you all to reach out to Jay if you have questions. Reach out to Javier. Reach out to me. I'll get you in touch with them. But if you are even on the fence about it and you have been thinking a lot about what you want to do different the rest of 2021 and into 2022 and beyond, this is a great way for you to do it. Maybe it's the better way. God, I just thought <laughs> of oh, I was hoping I was hoping you'd throw that in there. Wow. I don't know where that came from, but wow, I have some creative bones left in me. All right, guys, thank you so much. Reach out, reach out to Jay Monopoly at Jay Monopoly, of course, J dot Monopoly on Instagram at Javier inspired me on Instagram, or you can reach out to me and I'll get you in touch. Gentlemen, you are both an inspiration. I appreciate what you're doing. And I think it's amazing that you're giving this much back uh, to the world. So thank you. Awesome. Thank, thank you, Ted. I All right, guys, it. have a good one. Betterwayconference.com, July 17th.